There's more? for this video let's get started with the first one you're a gamer they've just come out with the report stating the switch that we have right now if you have the new switch version 2 or the OG launch switch it is not running at its maximum potential we're gonna talk about potential in a second but according to them they were able to overclock the system at higher both CPU and GPU speeds and the results were surprising specifically um, they ran games Doom, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Mortal Kombat 11, at Wolfenstein Youngblood 2 and they were seeing frame rate improvements as well as actual resolution improvements and I have to say they did report that it varied based on the game more games that had variable resolutions where the resolution would change based on what was going on the screen they saw some pretty good increase in um, both visual performance as well as frame rates specifically I remember them saying Wolfenstein Youngblood through this overclocking method they were able to see improvements. Now, Nintendo already did improve um, uh, the performance of the Switch through a software update where we did see everyone was dubbing it boost mode where the system actually ran um, better. So, why not Nintendo unleash the full power? I think a big reason is battery life. Nintendo is very cautious with battery life and uh, Eurogamer did report that through their overclocking method, the switch, it ran warmer, the fans were noticeably louder, and there's a bigger drain on the battery life as a result. And so Nintendo's trying to preserve battery life and not trying to sacrifice the battery life for performance. But who wouldn't mind more power in their switch? Now, before you try to look up this method, that um, Digital Foundry did. That's why I'm not even gonna um, sort of advertise it because it. Um, they did warn that it could break your Switch. <laughs> um, you could get banned online. Nintendo could see that you have a hacked Switch while you're playing online. So your account could get banned. And those were the biggest two um, warnings. And so I don't think it's worth um, for a couple of better, about uh, um, a few frame rates better performance in your games. To have your switch become obsolete so um, i thought that was cool that the switch really isn't running at its maximum potential and this has been sort of my pet peeve and i've talked about this before with nintendo i hate when i want to play a third primarily a lot of the third party games that you have to um give Xbox or Sony a second look um, Games like 2k20 is about to come out um, very soon and As much as I want to get the switch version just to support Nintendo Every time I turn on my Xbox and I play the Xbox version the resolution is so much better and the frame rate is so much better where Nintendo sort of forces you to have to go to another system, which I don't. I want to play my games, everything on the Nintendo console. But Nintendo ain't giving us the power that we want. And I've said this before, that the NES, Super Nintendo, still top two um, favorite Nintendo consoles. The NES and that Super Nintendo. Why? Because on the NES, Nintendo had the best first party games 
and the best <coughs> third party games. On the Super Nintendo, Nintendo had the best first party games and the best third party games. It wasn't even a debate of trying to go to another platform to play video. Video games systems were called the Nintendo. When you went to someone's house, what are your, what are you, they didn't say you're gonna go play video games, you're gonna play Nintendo. And so things have changed, Nintendo went in a different direction. Hey, and I don't <coughs> blame them too much. They, Nintendo tries to be innovative, do things differently. I love my Switch. Dope system, Fire Emblem right now is straight fire, but I like to play games online. I like online multiplayer games, and I don't need to tell y'all <laughs> Nintendo has problems with their online services. Just go to their last online video on YouTube, and you'll see the dislikes. But um, the Switch, 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 not running at its potential, and that's how I sometimes feel about Nintendo. The company isn't quite running at its potential. Just imagine, bro, if Nintendo came out with a console, a home video game console, with the same power as whatever Xbox or Sony's bringing out next year with their systems. Bro, bro, bro. All right, next news item. No Man's Sky. The game's um, chief developer, Hello Games boss, Sean Murray, he um, discussed po the possibility of porting this game to the Switch, and here's his response. He said, I love the Switch. We're obviously very focused on what we're doing right now, but we have done a lot of work for PlayStation VR to optimize the game. So I'd be interested to see what's possible. And so he's saying that he would be interested um, with the Switch, but this is what he ends by saying. But at the moment, we're just very focused on what we're doing right now. And again, it goes back to, I hate to beat a dead horse, no, I'm not bringing up the achievements. <laughs> Every time I think about achievements, all oh, that horse. Got it right here. Okay, dead horse. All right. Um, I hate to beat the dead horse, but again, for a lot of third-party developers, um, the Switch is sort of an afterthought uh, when it comes to porting their games. They focus on other platforms first, and then, of course, because they got to make the most adjustments um, for the Switch. But I have to say with No Man's Sky, though, I really don't care if this game's come to the Switch or not. I, I, I've never been interested in this game, even when, even before the reviews came out and everyone lost interest in the game, when everybody was hyped for this game, I was like, are y'all seeing the same thing I'm seeing? The game looks boring. It looks dull. It looks bland. Why is everyone so hyped for this game? And then the reviews came out that the game was boring. The game was bland. And everybody was shocked. But I was like, I told y'all from the jump when I first saw this at E3. Um, so the developers interested in porting the game to the Switch. I don't really care too much. Bro, the last news item for this video. And I was a little bummed when I saw this. Minecraft Super Duper Graphics Pack has been canceled. And I already know what you dudes are about to say. Oh, Obi-Wan, how can you be so bummed? You don't even play Minecraft. I've never once seen you do a Minecraft stream. What are you bummed about? Bro, <laughs> when I saw this, I, I was like, you know what? This looks cool. I might actually play this. I might actually play Minecraft. But... Minecraft Super Duper Graphics Pack has been canceled by uh, Microsoft. I really thought the reason why we weren't seeing any footage on this, wait, this isn't it. I really thought the reason why we weren't seeing, this is it, this is a super, this is it. That wasn't it, this is the Super Duper Graphics Pack. <gasps> the reason why I thought we weren't seeing any footage on this was because Microsoft was going to launch this with their new system, uh, whatever the Scarlet is going to be called, and they're just going to delay, delay until the Scarlet. Who knows? They might still do it. But um, according to this report by Forbes, and Forbes um, usually on this stuff, 
Forbes is reporting that Minecraft Super Duper Graphics Pack has been canceled. This is gonna be my chance to really get on Minecraft. 4K assets, it's gone, bro. All right, dudes, that's it for this video, bro. What do you guys think about everything I discussed in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. We out, boy. My hopes of being a Minecraft YouTuber has went down the drain.